challenges related to technology that schools face. And which technologies are most important for teaching computer education? To answer these questions, a combination of the Delphi technique and conjoint analysis was used to gain a consensus view upon each question. This was achieved over five stages. Stage one, suggesting possibilities and alternatives. Stage two with the questionnaire on the possibilities. Stage three involved discussion about the first ranking. Stage four involved voting on the alternatives. And stage five, the report itself. Here is an example of paired examples by each participant making a choice between pairs of possibilities. A complex set of alternatives can be considered and ranked by the system to list the most supported to least supported options, each compared to all other options. This produced a ranking of all of the alternatives considered by each question. For the question of which educational technologies will be the most commonly used in schools in five years' time, the top five technologies are Digital presentations, maker spaces, cloud computing, flexible learning spaces, and learning management systems. For the question of what trends related to educational technologies will have the most impact on schools in five years' time, Produce the top five trends. Funding for technologies. Student collaborations. Project based learning. Deep learning opportunities. and 21st century skills. For the question of the most important challenges related to technology that schools will face over the next five years, the study suggests professional learning, higher order thinking skills, Change. Expanding roles. And teacher professionalism. On the question of which technologies will be the most important for teaching computer education over the next five years. <coughs> Robotic kit math devices. Online activities and portals. Programming language is developing from block-based to textual. Digital citizenship expanding beyond online safety. Information systems will remain a challenge because of a lack of activities available compared to coding. Next month, you can read about the full list of rankings in the Australian Educational Computing Journal. The top five for each has been just a small fraction of the full analysis. I have some great news. The 2019 report is just about to start, and if you would like to be included, go and sign up on the project website. You will then be emailed when we are ready to start. This year we are streamlining the commitments involved by combining some of the steps, and it will take much less commitment to be involved. In the first step, you will consider a list of possible answers to each of the four questions, and add new possibilities to be considered. We will then have a round of voting, and explore the results. Next will be a discussion on the ranking and top five.
five alternatives produced. We will then have another round of voting and produce our final list of alternatives and the top five most likely answers to each question. This year, we are also looking to include students from schools, their parents, and school leaders, <coughs> and school technicians, as they each have their own value perspectives on the questions. It would greatly assist if you can ask some of these to participate so that we can have a representative view from their perspective. Okay. Wow. We seem to have a little bit more time. Would you like to hear a story about robots? It is one of my favorites. Dr. Zagami, can you help get the story ready? Yes, ma'am. As long as you promise not to fall over this time. time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. The galaxy is living in dark times again. <coughs> the dark forces are back. Is coming to save the galaxy. Accompanied by his faithful friend, now 2D2. I'd like to ask now a question. <laughs> Are you happy with the report outcome? Now? Are you happy? Now, now, are you happy? Are you happy? 
I was saying. Hey, back in the game. I was afraid I broke myself. No, nope, that's why I was stuck. <laughs> are you happy? Now, are you happy? Hey, back in the game. I was afraid I broke myself. <laughs> Finish up and come on now. Okay, give a round of applause for them. So, uh, for now. It has been really great meeting you all. You all look like you can open doors, so do not worry. You will all have jobs in the future. This has been a lot of fun. Goodbye. of the conference, um, tips and thank yous. I'd like to thank in particular the conference team that put together this uh, wonderful conference, um, particularly Jenny, who did a lot of the work behind the transportation and the catering. Um, and there's another lot of that are uh, two student helpers who've been running around doing lots of putting up posters and all the other stuff. And Michelle and Terry, who and Michelle, uh, who've been helping out in the background as well. And of course, each of the theme leaders. We had each of the themes have a leader that put them together. And a special thank you to Richard, who put together a fantastic theme around digital solutions. So it's been a <laughs> it's been a big job for the Gold Coast chapter to put together, but it's, I think you can agree that it's come together quite well. We've had a good experience and learnt a lot about various different things with technology.